I'm Heather Prisansky with OnLoveInteriorDecorating.ca and this is Design Question Wednesday. So this week's design question is how do I go about choosing the color for my room? Well, there's a number of different things that I do or a number of different tips that I would give to you on choosing a color, the perfect color for your space. And the first one is to find your inspiration within the room and really start to build your room from there. So that could be a piece of art that you love. It could be an accessory. It could be, um, you know, some furniture or a fabric or even a drapery or it could be a rug, whatever you want to start with. I suggest that you don't start with the pink color. I say that we usually pick the paint color last and the reason for that is because you're going to find all of your different um, pieces for the space and you might pull through some different colors and then all of a sudden your paint color doesn't work. So um, definitely choose your paint color last. I would say also that you should really go and find some inspiration on the internet, on in um, design magazines, things like that. So, for example, you might go to Pinterest, and Pinterest is a great resource if you're designing a room. Um, we have a Pinterest board, and we pin inspiration to that all the time. So if you're on Facebook right now, there is a link to our Pinterest up at the top, and if you're on YouTube, then we'll link it below. And you can also visit House, H-O-U-Z-Z. House is great. A bunch of designers put their designs up on house. There's millions of photos for you to look at and really look for the photos that spark that reaction in you. And don't be afraid if it's bold and colorful. I, I think it was Jonathan Adler. I was watching one of his design videos on YouTube and he said that your home should be an antidepressant. And that really struck a chord with me. I thought, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. Your home should be an antidepressant. It should be a place where you walk in and you feel happy and uplifted and you feel like you can relax after a long day at work and you feel like, you know, you can spend family time. So if it's a bright, bold, coral color that sparks that in you that makes you feel uplifted or maybe it's an ocean blue because you love being by the beach or maybe it's a bright sunny yellow because you just like the sunshine and it makes you feel warm. Um, anything that sparks a bit of an emotion in you, go for it, you know, and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to go for it. My next tip also, when you visit the paint store and you're kind of like, what paint colors do I put together? Because typically you're going to use a few different colors in a room. So a lot of paint companies actually have systems whereby they show you this color will work well with this color and all of these colors work well together and you should pair this with this and this with this and so just visit the paint store. Most of the paint chips are organized by that and that is a really great way to know that all of your colors will work together well in the room. My last tip for you is to go with a 60-30-10 rule. And what I mean by that is that your main color in the space should cover about 60% of the surfaces, your secondary color about 30%, and your accent color about 10%. That's an old designer trick. Um, it's not a hard and fast rule that you absolutely have to live by. But I think that, you know, if you're not really sure where, where to start on color, that it's a great place to go. And it's a great guideline. So I hope that this tip was helpful for you. I hope that it answered your question. If you would like your question answered by a designer, just send in your question to info at onlineinteriordecorating.ca and we will answer a new question each and every Wednesday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.